Hi guys, this is Android Nub. Wednesday I had a lip biopsy, so I can't really talk. I may sound a little weird, but that's not gonna stop me from making this video. First up is Robocop, a 3D shooter published by Glue. So this is the game, based on the movie Robocop. It's a fairly simple behind cover third person shooter. So in this game there's a map where you can choose which missions to do. Controls are fairly simple. When you're behind cover, you choose where to aim on the left side of your screen. And when you hold on to the right side of the screen, you go over cover and shoot the targets. I had a bit of frame rate issues, but it wasn't too bad. The graphics are good, although some of the animations are kind of stiff. Missions usually involve going through a wave of enemies, and then you have to your character automatically runs off on his own ahead, and then you go through another wave of enemies. It's a little generic, but it's a decent game to check out. Next up we have Chinese Zombie War Demon Arise, a 3D rail shooter, published by Tomato Animation SG. So this game actually has a story, you play some guy, and you meet some kind of ghost woman. Basically team up to kill zombies and demons. The gameplay is just like a rail shooter. Basically enemies appear on the screen and you tap them to attack them. How much you hurt them from each tap depends on your attack level so you can level up your attack and defense and health. So basically enemies just appear and you tap them to kill them and then your character automatically moves along the 3D environment. Another wave of enemies appear and you basically just go through. It's a really big map with a lot of different levels. Overall, I found this game pretty decent, considering it does have a story with lots of dialogue. Next up, we have Dragon Guild Battle Combat, a shitty puzzle-based RPG published by Skyboard Apps. In this game, you choose one of many heroes, and you go through maps and fight enemies in this puzzle-based combat. Basically, you match up uh, the tiles, which represent attack, defense, ranged attack, magic attack, melee attack, that kind of stuff. You have 30 seconds to match up combinations, and then after 30 seconds, you watch your character actually attack. It's a fairly interesting game, not too original, but there's quite a bit of map and levels to go through. Next we have Still Land War, a 2D online RPG published by U Game Home Technology. This is one of those online games where you just kind of run around town accepting quests. There's like auto moves, they automatically move to your quests, and there's instance based missions, which involve turn based combat, which you have no control over. So you fight monsters, but you can't actually control your character, your character automatically attacks. When you start off, there's three different classes, warrior, assassin, and mage. There is a story and character dialogue that kind of keeps it interesting. The combat isn't too boring to watch, you can make it 2x speed to speed it up. Decent game to check out. Next up we have Mimpy, a 2D puzzle based adventure game published by Crescent Moon Games. In this game you play a dog who sets out on a quest to find his owner. Graphics are really cute and colorful and the controls are fairly smooth and easy to use. There are these puzzles where you drag stuff around to help your dog cross the map, and there's lots of other puzzles as well. It's actually a kind of fun and calming game that I think people of all ages can enjoy. Next we have FRS Ski Cross, a 3D casual skiing game published by Unity Games. Graphics in this game are pretty good. Like I said, this is a casual skiing game. You can't actually control how your character moves. All you do is just tap and hold the screen to turn, and tap the screen to jump. It's a very simple game. There's lots of different levels to go through and stuff to buy for your character. The game is very simple, but still might be worth checking out. Next up we have Two Endless Runners, Small Fry, published by Noodle Cake Studios, and Zombie Escape, published by Candy Mobile. In Small Fry, you play a fish, then you hold the screen to dive farther down, and release for your fish to go up. The goal is to collect coins and avoid being eaten by a shark. In Zombie Escape, you move by tilting your device left and right, you can swipe up to jump and swipe down to slide, you can also attack zombies by swiping diagonally. The graphics in both games are, are not too bad, but they are very simple and casual endless runners. Next up is Township, a farming and city building game published by Playrix. So in this game you can farm and grow crops and harvest them, you can feed your cows and milk them, you can build houses and different buildings to improve your town. It's pretty much a farming and a city building game, there are quests and missions to do, and the graphics are not too bad. There is waiting around for stuff to finish though. And last we have Astro Adventures Online Racing, a 3D racing game published by Tokata Technologies. So this is a pretty casual online racing game where you can race against other people. It's fairly simple. Graphics are colorful and cutesy. You control your vehicle by tilting your device. And personally I didn't think this game was that good. It's very simple. There is this Avicii song that just keeps looping in the background. Anyway that's all for this week. My voice should be back to normal next week. Make sure you guys subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching.